Maybe you have vintage or modular synth sounds that you like, but they're too heavy, fragile, or valuable to use live. Or mono synths you want to play polyphonically. 1010 samplers can automatically multi-sample other synths, complete with split zones and velocity layers. What if I want to use this vintage Roland Juno? And this Casio CZ5000. And do that classic 80s trick of layering the analog and digital synths together as one sound. So here's how we can do that. To connect things up, we need to plug one of Bento's MIDI outputs to the synth MIDI input. I'll use MIDI output 1 from Bento and plug that into the 5 pin MIDI adapter and then plug that into the Juno MIDI input. Note that I have the Juno MIDI through connected to the CZ's MIDI in to allow Bento's MIDI output to go to both the Juno and the CZ at the same time. Now I can plug the synth audio output into Bento's audio input. I'm using a blue box to mix the two keyboard outputs into one signal going into the Bento audio input. It's real easy to create your own multi-sampled instrument. First we open the instrument and patch browser on a track. Then add a new multi-sampled instrument. Now tap the record button and name the patch. I'll use Juno CZ as an obvious choice. This is where we set things up for an automatic multi-sampling session. Here we can tell it which Bento audio input to use, make input gain changes, set an input threshold, and set a MIDI channel for sending to the external MIDI devices. In the next row of parameters, we choose the key range of the instrument we want recorded. If you aren't sure of the MIDI note numbers, you can play notes on the device to see how they match the Bento pad notes. which have their note numbers shown in gray at the bottom of the screen. Next, choose how many notes apart you want for creating new recordings. This could mean a new recording for every note, but many are fine with every three to five notes. Then choose the number of velocity layers. And finally, the recording length for each sample. Now you just hit play and record like creating a sequence and it plays the external instruments and records them. Remember that Bento is a streaming sampler, so you can make really long recordings, so not as much a reason for sustain loops and that kind of thing. And yeah, sometimes creating multi-samples can take a while, so I sped things up to save you the wait. Don't forget to save your patch using the track screen menu. So now we can use the instrument for sequencing and live performance. and sculpt even more sound using Bento's envelopes, filter, and modulation controls. Thanks for watching, and let us know any questions you have about Bento.